Because any man that neglects the child suffers. And you will suffer if you don't do right. Any man that leaves a woman that has given birth. Like blood is a covenant. It's a sacred thing. It's a serious thing. It's a spirit. Any woman that's had abortion for you. Any woman that has gotten pregnant for you. Any woman that you've literally slept with. And you have the audacity and the guts and inhuman character. To make her feel that she's not a human being. Especially when she has had a miscarriage abortion and delivered for you. You treat her anyhow. It's a natural case. I'm not going to lie. Enjoy your life before you get married. No lie. You have to make sure you enjoy your life. You're satisfied with it. I mean, not too much. Not silly things. But just make sure you understand yourself. I think at some point, I didn't even know who I was anymore. Mm. I didn't understand who I was anymore. I was very young, naive, innocent. And then I have someone, you know, taking advantage of me. He wasn't a bad person, but he made me think he was after the divorce because you want me to force you to even give us shelter. Hey, I thought court. you had gotten all the money, all the houses, That's what, all the... But I could have taken him to court because I had upper hand over everything. Mm -hmm. Right now, the family lawyer was pushing me. I had to take him to court. This, this. I said, no, let him be. He will come back. And yes, he did come back because things weren't going on well. And I said, you know why? Even... Even in 10 years, you pay for it. Huh. And women, we don't know ourselves. We want to compare ourselves to men. I see people shouting feminist women. You want to compare yourself to a man? No. No. We are, it's the teamwork. We are two different breeds, literally. We are two different people. Why do you want to compare yourself? The neck and the head, doesn't, they don't compare themselves. But guess what? Without the neck, the head is useless. Mm -hmm. So that's, what, that's who we are. Why do you compare yourselves? And did you understand that? I, was, I, I wasn't ambitious, but I was someone who was very independent. I never asked him for nothing. He didn't understand. I think wow. got to a point, I felt he thought I had somebody. I don't know. You know, it's like, he didn't understand why. You, you're not asking me for luxury. You're not asking me for attention. I cannot give it to you. You made a comment. You still want to get married. No, of course. You know, it's not shattered your life no. totally. And of course, you have a beautiful son. Thank you. you know. <laughs> I haven't seen him, but... Oh, he, you will. Now he's a big boy. He's a big, he's boy. big boy. He doesn't ask questions anymore. Oh, he does. Oh. He talks too much. Oh, my God. But I don't shut him up because that's who he is. So he doesn't say, why you know him, daddy? Why is this No, no, you just tell me. Well, let me I saw my friend, uh, his best friend is called Johan or something. He's like, Johan's daddy came and oh. picked me. Johan's daddy gave me... Mommy, where is daddy? Mm. And I'm like, oh, he's there. He asks me a lot. So that's why my mom always says, Hello, please try and get married. So that they feel that. And I'm like, my son you. is not complaining. You'll be okay. Aren't you also afraid that one day you wake up and your husband says, I'm coming for my son? And he takes him away from, he takes him away oh, from he me. Oh, he does not. One, you know, but who can take care of him? He, he said it himself. No one can take care of him like I can. And it's true. Where are you taking him to? Oh, I'll fight till my last breath. Like, you cannot take him. Like, where are you taking him to? He wouldn't even try that. No, you cannot try that. Where were you? For two years, I did everything myself. I was paying his school fees and all that. So for two years, it was totally silent. When it was, you yes. I think he felt he was punishing me. Or he felt I wanted to use the boy to punish him. I don't know. Total silence. Yeah. It was because I, I won't talk to you. You too, you won't talk to me. But I got to a point, I wanted to put everything aside. I'm like, are you not going to ask of him? Hmm. Are you not going to do this? Are you not going to do that? And then he started bringing himself one by one, one by one. Things weren't going on well. He now came. I said, you know why? Because you're not taking care of your child. And it's a kiss. And guess what? He started taking care of him. And so many things becoming better. We thank God for your life. Um, I love the fact that you're, you can share your story to, you know, to encourage someone and also put a smile on your face. Yeah. Because sometimes you never even know what people are going through exactly you know so i'm glad that you spent some time with us and telling us about your career and how far you've come and it's not the i have i've read stories so i'm hearing a different narration yeah. now it's always like that you know and it, it, it I, I get some understanding as to how certain things were said and why they were said and all of that so i'm grateful to you for making some time uh, to welcome. share yourself and just be yourself uh, with us here on the show